God, please, God. I am. I am. I was listening to Benjamin Dixon show episode uh, 578, I think. Let me go ahead and click this shit so I can see which one. 578. Yep, 578. And he plays the uh, graphic sounds of a, a man in Portland, Oregon being shot to death by a horde of cops. I mean, that's what's going on. A horde of cops. Uh, he had a knife. I mean, that he had a knife. That's it. Remember when I spoke of the white guy with the small knife in front of the bank that was holding off like all these police officers, they wouldn't let him, they wouldn't let him pass and stuff. Well, the guy with the knife, he, he had the police officers surrounded. You know, they were in imminent danger. They had to put him down. They had to shoot him. You know, the girl was smiling about it. So happy she was. And this Okay, Benjamin Dix, you can listen to him, give his take on it and whatnot, which I predominantly agree with. Uh, he calls the police terrorists. I can't disagree with that. But have the police not been terrorists? They've always been terrorists. You know, from the Irish to anything, from New York all the way down to California, they, they've always knocked heads around. They've given the nickel rod. They've, you know, go to someone's home and beat and rape them and it's their word against theirs uh my girlfriend's mom she uh she was driving her car trying to get from point a to point b police officer ran a light t-boned her said it's her fault his word against hers a black woman against any cop is going to lose no matter what evidence there is it don't matter and you can say well the evidence you know it'll, it'll help no no it doesn't help Okay, it don't help. You got police officers on the mountain uh, that shot and killed a homeless man, uh, sick the dog on him, they handcuffed him. You got a homeless man, you got a um, a man wielding a knife in front of a bank, they shoot him down. There was a video of a man running, uh, uh, a white guy. These are these are all white people. A white guy running for his life. The female police officer finally chase him down, tases him enough for him to die. So, I mean, this right here, this guy's in the homeless shelter. His life is pretty much jacked up as it is. And the police come in there screaming and yelling. They are wielding military-grade weapons. Police usually use a Glock, and that Glock holds roughly um, 12 to 19 rounds, sometimes 20. And, you know, they don't need these military M16, AR-15, and higher grade weapons. The police were practically in SWAT gear for a guy. Now, he's done some things. You know, he, I think he crashed his car and some other stuff, as Benjamin Dixon reported and whatnot. But he hasn't killed anybody. He wasn't posing an immediate threat to anyone's life at that time. And the police are not trained any longer I don't think they've ever been trained to really de-escalate. You see it in the movies all the time. You always see it in the movies growing up as kids in the 70s and, and 60s and the 50s and whatnot, in the, especially in the 80s. Freeze, drop your weapon, turn around, hands up, hands behind you, lay down, issue orders, clear, calm, concise. What were you doing? Why were you doing it? And if the guy, you know, had a, a legit reason that kind of, played to the officer's heart, then the officer's like, okay, look, you can get out of here or we'll just drop it down to something, but you won't be charged for this grand thing because I understand what you're going through. 
that usually you see that stuff happening, but that's never been the way it's been in real life. Not necessarily. Uh uh-uh. uh. Police officers, they they aren't trained anymore to do what they need to do, which is analyze the situation, understand what's going on, be human towards the other human, interact, engage as peaceful as one can, but be ready for anything that may jump off. Instead, police officers go into it ready for anything bad. I mean, it is literally, um, they, they, they came into the store, well, to the homeless shelter, guns drawn, ready. Police officer chases down homeless man. And in another video, you can find them all over YouTube. Chase them down, pull the gun. They're ready to pull the gun. You know, I mean, if you're not in danger, I mean, a knife 30 feet away, I mean, I'm sure he could have thrown it and maybe hit somebody with the butt of it or the flat of it or something. It might give you a little bruise or a nick, you know, but it's not going to kill you. It's not, especially the small knife as it was. And if you listen to the video, it I'm still confused, but it sounds like somebody says he doesn't have a knife or the guy shouts, I don't have a knife. So that's just all up in the air, I suppose. But, you know, guy gunned down, murdered by the cops. You know, there's, there's you know... The cops are going to get off free. Nothing's going to happen to them. So, I mean, that's just our world. I don't like it. I don't accept it. I want it to change. But someone tell me what I can do solo that's going to get police officers to stop their, I don't know, man, their meerkat mentality. <laughs> that meerkat mentality to poke their head out. And if it's another meerkat of equal or lesser stature, then, you know, kill them. If it's somebody important, like, you know, a senator or some suburban white guy, someone in a suit, you know, okay, then they'll, basically that's the lion or the the hawk or eagle or Valde eagle, you know, vulture. It's going to be one of those. They're going to be like, no, that's cool. I'm I'm not, I'm not going to mess with that. That's, that's dangerous. You know, so that, that's just the way we are. It's gone long enough. Um, I'll end it there. This is Cedric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning. Thank you for listening.